Okay, here's our chance to try to catch a liar lying. Well, if she's a liar. Have you settled my blood debt? Dea's voice trembles, her body weary from sobbing. So let's try lying then. Uh, the killer has been eliminated. Here's the necklace. My love, you are avenged. She clasps her hands over the necklace, holding the trinket to her cheek. After a moment of silent thought, she takes a deep breath and looks at you with a smile. What? So I can say, and you almost got away with it, or I can say, that is all, be at peace. Huh. It's weirdly vague in this context. So if I say that is all, be it, I don't know. Maybe I should accuse her. And you almost got away with it. Away with what? What do you mean? She gives you a puzzled look. That's preposterous. I couldn't. Dea's face turns from flushed to stoic in the blink of an eye. She folds her arms before her, before her and smiles. Well, mount me sideways. I thought I'd gotten away with it. Wow, she gave up really easily. That wasn't very hard. I didn't really even have evidence in the moment. She looks down at her feet. Can't blame me for trying, though. A sly smile crosses her lips. You know, Fatebinder, with Phaedra gone, I have inherited everything she owned. Perhaps there is something I can offer you, should you decide to leave things be. So I can demand something? I can ask questions? I can say I'm fond of, fond of rings? I can attack her? I thought, that, I thought you could arrest people in this game. Where's the arresting things? Let's ask questions. Uh, why hail a fate binder when you were the one who murdered your own wife? I thought that would be obvious. If I was the one who flagged you down, you'd be less likely to suspect that I was the one who killed her. I was hoping you'd just take my word for it and kill Sandra for me, but apparently he didn't have to... He didn't have a mind to keep his mouth shut. We already know why he killed her. Let's see. He killed her now. She killed her now because it's the middle of the chaotic... It's in the middle of chaos that so she had someone to blame. She killed her for her land, but that's all pretty obvious. Why was the necklace so important to you? It's not, really. I just wanted it as proof that Sandra was dead. I was going to keep it around as a trophy, a reminder that in the end, I won. Well, that didn't really work out, huh? So I can ask for money, or I can have her arrested for killing somebody. Which is all weird. Oh, uh, yeah. It's weird because... We're kind of the bad guys, so going after a murderer is like sort of, sort of feels pointless. But at the same time, we should, we're the we're the adjudicator, so if she's, um, I don't think she's allowed to just go murdering uh, Kairos's uh, people. It's weird that attacking her is the only option, though. What happened? Why, why can't you arrest people in this game? Oh well. Well, I've heard, en I've heard enough. You disgust me. <laughs> the wrath of Lethian's Crossing. That's unfortunate. She slides her hand up to her ear, pulling from her hair a long, slender pin. Brandishing the makeshift weapon, she throws herself at you. That's... Let's see how that goes for her, I guess. This might be adorable. Yeah, she's not gonna last, right? Like, not even a little bit? No. This person is just casually walking through the middle of this like nothing's happening. Oh, there goes that. Hey, I got the necklace back. Plus one finesse. Because of its grace stat. And staggering burn item. Did she not successfully use that against us or something? Alright, well, we caught a murderer. This was a strange quest. In the context of who these people are, it's almost weird to be going after killers, but we are the adjudicator, so in a weird sort of way, even if we are the bad guys, we, my character's role is a weird contradiction of that of the premise of the world's current state. Hello. Examining the rubber a little, the rubber, <laughs> the rubbing we got earlier, the charcoal rubbing actually led to an update. The Sunset Spire. A portion of an unknown sigil has been recorded on this scroll. The charcoal imprint is rough and incomplete, leaving the full design a mystery for now. That must have been because of the upgrade to somebody else's stats. The, uh, the rune reading. 
Let's see. After examining the rubbing, you found that it's only a partial image of a symbol that is reminiscent of the one you saw in Ascension Hall and Vendrian's Well. So maybe we can keep finding more of them. Well, now it's time for us to push deep inside and find out what's going to happen in here. Old Wall's do door. A gargantuan tower... Uh, a gargantuan door towers above you, sealed shut and thoroughly impenetrable. In its center is a small hole that looks designed to receive an object. Let's put in that keystone, then. Access is mine! That's a lot of bad guys, ain't it? Flatfoot Ferris. Hey, tank character, you go first. The Brotherhood soldier eyes you with immediate distrust. Really? Why? Is it because we the one that just fought them back in town? <laughs> Holding up a hand, indicating you should stop. How in the name of my fallen brothers did you get in here? I can say Mir gave me the keystone, or I can say that I I can I can use my subterfuge to kind of intimidate them or unnerve them, saying that I know secret ways in. There are other ways past the doors, and I know them all. Ferris nods in appreciation. That's quite impressive, but those tricks won't help you here. Tell me what you want or get gone. What happened here? After we got in here, Redmond went on ahead, said he had something he needed to do. We heard this terrible noise and suddenly we were swarmed with scourges. They looked like they were running away from something. It was crazy. I've never seen them act like that before. There are definitely a few of you dead already. Like half of you were dead already? Some of them attacked us, but most of them just kept going right out the door. Then Redman appeared, uh, reappeared, and the rest of the scourges just up and left. Redman was laughing, almost like it was a game. He was saying, this will show them. This is just a taste. Then he sealed the doors and told me not to let anyone else through. What is the Brotherhood doing inside the old walls? Ferris looks at you like you're crazy. I don't see how uh, that is any of your business, really, but I suppose I... I also don't see how it would hurt to tell you, since you're already here. He shrugs. Ever since Redman spent a night inside to prove he was worthy of the f to be the first brother, he spent more and more time in here. He said he mapped out the path so he could get through without attracting the bane. And we've never had a problem as long as we stayed in this room. We can hide out, and no one knows we're here. You're the first one I've seen in here who wasn't part of the Brotherhood. He told me to stay here and gave me something he calls a torch key. I have no idea what it is or what it does, and Redman didn't tell me. He keeps his secret to himself. Why is he handing away why is he handing away items that he doesn't if he doesn't if he doesn't even tell people what they are or what to do with them? That's strange. I need your help with to find Forge Bound Master Zidenia. Ferris smiles. You're funny, Fadebinder. Redman told me you couldn't be tr uh, trusted. And to keep you from getting through at all costs, so unless you've suddenly changed loyalties and you're planning on swearing fealty to Redman, you're not getting past me. I could just lie. Oh god. I mean, if that if that kind of lie works, why wouldn't I just go for it? Sure, yeah. I swear fealty to Redman. All I have, all I want to do is help him achieve his goals. Is it that easy, really? Why didn't you say so earlier? His, he hands you a strange-looking object with a sigil on it. Really? <laughs> What's this? Redman called it a torch key, whatever that means. He also said the torch key have names. This one is Ameth, and Redman has one called Ymir. I have no clue what any of it means, but Redman, uh, apparently Redman does. Did that really work? <laughs> There's no confirmation, no test, no, like... You don't, like, gain trust over time? You're just like, yeah, totally, I'm on your team. Well, that was easy. I don't know, is there- does this- does this world have weird punishments for lying about that kind of thing? I don't think that's something I've heard about yet. Do you have eyes on this? Ooh. Eternal. Plus 15% grace deflection. This once fine cloak has seen significant use and abuse over the centuries. Claw marks have reduced the hem to tatters, suggesting that the garment itself must be remarkable to have survived this long in one piece. Nice. i put that over here. This is just money. Yep. Let's look at that. So I already have uh, plus 10 parry. 
The bonus health doesn't hurt, but I think balancing both... Uh, well, no, health regen's pretty alright. Maybe I should put the graze on you. You've got a faster recovery time when you take wounds, which is kind of a, which isn't too uncommon for her. And then some graze deflection. Should I put the finesse on somebody? That's subterfuge and quickness. Versus immune to poison and bonus health over time every six seconds. Is it the same is it the exact same bonus? Yeah. Same bonus from two different items. Could you just stack them and get 2% health? So 1% health per 3 seconds, basically? On average, at least. That'd be kind of neat. Uh, it would still take 3 minutes to heal your entire health bar, so it's not exactly a big, the biggest deal ever. Just wondering if I should put this on somebody. Finesse is accuracy, whereas quickness is not. Uh, so... Accuracy versus cooldowns, basically, is the question here. Unless I want to take off the 10 subterfuge, which... Admittedly, my subterfuge is getting so high that it almost needs, seems unnecessary, but it's not astonishingly high. It's only 69, it would be down to a 59 if I took that off. Which is low enough that I might be at risk of not always being usable. Hard to say, I think... I think the finesse may be worth it. With it swapped out like this, he's still got his uh, especially high subterfuge, because I use it constantly. But now he's got a bonus to his accuracy, his armor deflection, his spell cooldowns, and his uh, ability cooldowns. Which isn't terrible. So we can use the torch key to move further into this place. What's that? The crystal and the beacon shimmer softly as you bring the torch key closer to it, so that's what the torch key's... The torch key is for. I, I keep almost saying torchic. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Oh, maximum camping supplies is still a thing. What's this? Maybe I should save before I start clicking on things. There we go. Oh. So that's one place to go. This glows when I go near it with the torch key, but it's not actually doing anything at the moment. Is this a dead-end room? It is. Let's check this room out first. There we go. There had to be something in here, right? Ooh, nice. That's happy. See what I see? Do you see what I see? We need to figure out how spire upgrades work. I, I, I feel like there just haven't been things that seem like... Yeah, like these are all locks with no particular indication of how to make them not locks. <laughs> Uh, so the only upgrades I know how to do are just buy people. And I don't think any of these people say that they are the person who upgrades your base. This person gives you camping supplies. Most of these people give you training. This person sells a few unique items. I'll want to gain access to them for sure. But if, or at least a few of them. But, uh, ooh. Recruits, one out of six. There's definitely more than six people here. So you, you get limited to six. That's noteworthy. But yeah... If there's a way to get more of these locks, it's not indicated yet. I assume it must be story-based, as I progress. Can you not click on this thing? Weird. How do you open the door? Maybe I have to do something in this room? Did I miss a detail here? Um, sure doesn't seem like there's anything to do in that room. It seems like a dead end. How do I use the torch key to open the next door? Here, maybe everyone needs to back off. Torch key. No? Right. Am, uh, am I missing something? Do I need to walk up to you? Oh. I'm a torch key. Okay. See that eerie glow? In arcane terms, I believe that means important. Weird, I inspected that earlier and I... Oh, so it went from an inspection to a hand. Okay. It's confu it was confusing because that one let me through already. So I didn't know that I needed to go somewhere else. So does this is, is this the wrong symbol for me then? Crystal Speak is not responding to the torch key from these old walls. So that's the, that's the one that he has and this is the one that I have. Okay. 
Well, now we know things. Let's continue to, s to rob everything we can. <laughs> no respect for temples. The Iron Great Axe. Stash that away for now. So we can't go through that door because we don't have that, that torch key. But we do have this one. So the ones that look like spears are the ones we can use. So there's a platform over there that probably takes me across to somewhere. Let's head forward for now. So there's two of those. Okay, which one would I, would I want to use? Can't really know till you try, I guess. Oh, it creates a bridge. I suppose the answer then is I want to I want to click on both of them. I thought it was gonna. At first, I thought it was gonna be a floating barrier that goes across, but I guess floating would be weird in this game. So it actually makes sense for it to just make a bridge. That comes a bit more naturally. Oh, she never came down here. Oh, there's a you trap. There's a trap. All right. Careful. I'm gonna put him in stealth mode because that's supposed to make him more likely to notice traps. Oh, those are portals. So stay close. Those things summon enemies. It probably opens the door but it gets us attacked at the same time. So let's just be prepped for that. No apparent traps. Or a lacking evidence of them at least. Everyone's in a decent position. Bad guys! Here they come. I'm sure we'll be fine. May or may not actually be fine. We can probably just make a mess of this, yeah. Uh, if they if they gather around him, we can do Shattered Stone. That'd be fun. See, I can put this wherever I want, right? Yeah. Let's help the party out. There we go. That gets messy fast. Oh, don't want to move because I'll disengage, huh? Whatever, I'll do it right here. I don't give a crap. Hit them with rocks until they stop moving. <laughs> I think it has helped that I switched my tank into a non-armor-piercing non, uh, weapon since the armor-piercing didn't matter at this point. Sunder doesn't matter because now these guys have armor, as I just said. Crushing damage? Or I could save up for... Confusion. The fight won't probably be that long, though. Let's have you get a little closer. And go for that crush. Crush, crush, crush. Nothing compares to a quiet evening alone. Oh, well, one of my targets just died. That's awkward. Still a nice spike of damage. So we're still fine by and large. We have characters prepping heals. Yep, it's over. That went cleanly enough. And that's a lot of essence. That's weird. Oh, it's because they're stacked for different bodies, right? I'm like, why is there a three and one and two? Just make it six. But I think it's, I think it's a separate stack for each each enemy we fought. Oh, the door's open, as expected. There's like an altar in here? Ooh. Heavy bronze, probably gonna be used for you then. Bane touched gauntlets. One less armor, sure. A little bit more recovery, less DPS. What's a sigil, sigil of Teratus? Plus 10 control grave light. So they're only, it's only really useful for the, for our, our caster that actually uses a grave light then. And that's only if I actually want to specialize in that. But uh, yeah, Eb uses Grave Light. His gauntlets have endured significant exposure to the Bane, and uh, a dusting of their eth ethereal essence has suffused the iron bands about the forearm. Yeah, I don't have much reason to put that on my, any of my characters right now. But it's mine, and it's... Uh, I should have checked, but it's probably valuable. Yeah, 14. It's not terrible. Didn't exactly have to bleed for it, no one even took a wound, so that's good. How do you go down? You can't go- you can't jump in this game, right? I mean, well you can, but only when there's like a- an F mark saying you can- oh. Can I 
Can I go to that? That doesn't seem like you can access it from behind the wall. But how else would I get there, though? No, I don't. I don't think you can reach that through the wall. How would I get there? Yeah, clicking on it does nothing. Is there a bridge? There's no bridge there. Maybe there's a bridge over here? Maybe those stairs somehow lead to it? Huh. Maybe maybe I find access somewhere to make this whole thing go up and down. But right now it doesn't seem to move. And I don't see a way to do anything about that. Scurry, my younglings. Across the map. Here we go. Any any ambush? Not yet. Brackish foul smelling water pours from these spouts and disap uh, disappears away into nothingness. Well, we're clear. But for what? Who are those going to summon bad guys? They look like the summoning portals, but they're not. They don't have actual portals in them right now. They're just the the spots those tend to be in. How do you get down there? Oh, right, because I need the other keystone to get through there. Huh, maybe we'll loop around, but it looks like for now we're going to go to another map, I think. There we go. It feels like this is our first genuine dungeon in this game. It's an interesting change of pace. It's just the RPG trope, but they let us spend so much time in the world before we got here. Torn piece of parchment. This piece of parchment depicts the sigils of the old wall's torch keys. Okay. Oh, the Citren torch key. Golden light shifts over the stone's many faucets. Let's give that tea. Well, they can both go in the stash, basically, right? Aren't they sitting in the stash right now? Yeah, we have Citren and Ameth. Sure. There are many more passageways and rooms within sight, but beyond reach. Calcedony? I'll take it. So we, we could go forward. I'm gonna go back just to double check whether or not the one we just got is the one we need for that uh, previous room. Yes, no, maybe? It's not responding to the torch keys. Well, that didn't work. It's worth a, it was worth a shot. Wait, what? I can use Citren here to do what? Nothing. Seems like only Ameth works here. So now I can pick one or the other. So maybe sometimes there will be a choice between the two, but that one down there doesn't work with either. So now we push forward and we learn how this thing works where you pick one or the other. So for the sake of uh, experimentation, we'll try the old one, but I assume that the new one is the whole point, right? So Ameth? Oh. That one opened that one. Sure. And now Citren. And now they're both opened. Didn't notice that there was two at first. Okay. This is a genuine dungeon. Oh, and there's a fight happening down there. And yeah, so Siren uh, immediately begins singing, uh, Red Runs uh, Our Blood. Let's get in there, they're probably fighting against, yep. Fighting against the enemies here. Sure. We'll be fine. Sing for me. And here comes a giant rock. Everyone likes a giant rock. I like giant rocks anyway. And if I kill everyone else, then I will be everyone. Okay, don't don't disengage on purpose. Or did he just get feared? Have you been feared or something? Oh, you are, aren't you? He's been confused, that's why he's running around and disengaging. That's not ideal. Uh, we're gonna wanna recover him if we can. There we go. Everything's fine now. Now murder. Everyone do a good old murder. Nope. Yeah, they all pop relatively quickly. I'm going especially low on t Why are you not- Why are you not helping? I clicked on the guy. There we go. I'm a little low on uh, micromanaging right now because I know that I'm mostly just running through a bunch of 
of these guys that are they go down really quickly and we even have allies half the time one of the mercenaries steps forward struggling to stand whoever you are thank you we had better ch uh, we had better chances when our numbers were greater but things begin to descend once the bane ambushed us you're welcome mercenary begins to take inventory of your company did redman send you to rescue us Redman never had any intention of coming back for you, I'm sorry. A streak of anger flashes across his face before it quickly subsides to despair as the truth sets in. We had our doubts when we entered into the old walls and only a handful of Brotherhood were given torch keys. As you can tell, we were not among them. The mercenary nods to his companions and they grab what they can and begin to shuffle off. We'll be heading back to camp. We've had enough of this shithole for one day. Redman can rot for all I care. Well, we're getting along. Oh, bad guys. Hello. Additional foes have arrived. Let's make a mess. Well, new encounter means. Well, the same attacks again, basically. Ridiculous rock ability, yay! Let's get their attention if I can. Oh, you already are. Now he's going for a heal. Well, if they don't focus on him, I can't do the engagement skill. Well, I can, I just won't have the same bonus. Might as well just go for it. They're so outnumbered that it doesn't matter. There we go. Oh! They're just kind of coming in waves. Weird. Can I get both of them this way? There we go. Extraordinary Defense Lantry. Oh, he, tr he tried to disengage. So, so we got a free attack on him. Just making things worse. Good. That's fine. Hope you'll have better luck than we did. And they're out. Ooh. I got it. A lot of gems in this area giving us decent chunks of income. Oh. No, why couldn't we trigger this while they were still here? Alright, well. Let's start. At least she's always singing. Even though even though it only sometimes makes the sound the audio happen. That's a weird quirk. Relatively swift, uh, relatively swift fights here. Immune to prone. We try to make a wisp go prone. That's adorable. And nonsensical. And torn piece of parchment. Depicts the sigils of the old walls torch keys. Should I give that to you? Maybe you can read them? Why didn't it go to your inventory? Did it go here automatically or something? blood-stained and torn pieces of parchment. Combined with the first parchment you found, you can see a crudely drawn row sigil in the center of the crudely drawn citron symbol in the upper left-hand corner. Part of a third sigil can be seen in an adjacent corner, but is obscured by blood. So we need to keep finding more and more pieces of parchment that keep automatically combining into this one item here. That's fine. What's up with this thing? Oh! Two-handed warhammer. Superior quality depth. Oops, I right clicked on it to look at the, a screen and then made it go away. Where'd it go? Was it, are you in here? Did I lose it? I don't see it here, do I? Is somebody suddenly using it? I don't think so. Did I put it back down? Oh, it just closed the screen. Uh, let's put you in here real quick. I just wanted to look at what it, what it was. That's not what I was going for. Devastating. On weapon crit. Uh, does a half meter pushback. That's neat. And it has a chance of interrupting. Uh, inter interrupting for one second. Not, and it has five armor penetration. Not bad for a big heavy user. Otherwise it will at least fetch a decent price. At, at 20 bronze. I think I'll be pretty ready to buy that fire sigil core, and then also any uh, any other remaining leftover spellcasting stuff, and upgrade my base by the time I get back with some of the stuff we're getting from here. And we're under attack again. As is our tradition, apparently. Let's prioritize the Scourge. Get him! 
the slow that thing's so strangely slow, isn't it? Yeah, this will be over quick. Bye. All right. Now we get to play with our new toy. Well, did they leave anything on the ground? Nope, no loot. They just seem, seem to keep showing up. All right, let's try Ameth. Nope. Citrin. That did something. Ah. The door outside has changed. Okay, let's keep pressing deeper. This will be interesting. 